Let's look at this Scott Vestal Stealth Banjo. It's actually made by Robin Smith. Uh, sounds incredible. If you like these videos, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Let's let's hear it. <laughs> song just for fun on this one. I just want to do some kind of a, I'm mostly playing a more of a Scruggs type style here on these videos because I just play whatever comes to mind. But uh, this banjo was crafted for the unique needs of Scott Vestal. And one, he's moving all over the place so much he didn't want a fifth string, so the fifth string actually channels through the neck. And but he wanted it to be very high quality, so he had Robin Smith make it make them. Now a few were made by Ma Marty Lanham, but the later ones and the more popular ones are made by Robin Smith. It also has a radius fingerboard, which if you're doing a lot of fancy stuff, uh, helps you to play more accurately. Um, and that's, that's basically it. The banjo is in like new condition. And uh, if you've always wanted to have one of these, this is an opportunity to get one at considerably below what it would cost to order one direct. And uh, here we go. So you've got the uh, Presto tailpiece on the bottom here. One piece armrest. And I'll just kind of turn it to the side and you've got a mahogany resonator. And you can see this banjo is virtually untouched almost unbelievable condition um, then you go up the neck and uh, you know I know on guitar that Tony Rice didn't have any dots in the fretboard so I guess Scott didn't want any dots I mean it kind of looks cool yeah and of course you have dots that you can see by looking down at the banjo and that's very simple to do that and uh, go up the neck and of course see the the, uh, where the fifth string enters, and then it's actually tuned on the headstock, which makes it a little easier. You don't have to move up here, plus boom, when you're moving down quick, your finger doesn't hit the fifth string, or up. And uh, let's look at how the keys are on the headstocks. He has this nice, cool, modern, thin-looking headstock. Yeah. I'll tell you what, if you're a young banjo player, you'll get more dates if you have a banjo like this. All right, so let's look at the uh, inside. And of course, you've got the resonator, which is signed by Scott Vestal, and the serial number. Now, I didn't call, but I think that that serial number means it's a 2010. I don't know that, but I think it does. All right, and here's your mahogany resonator, which is virtually perfect. Uh, I Invariably, if I tell you that it's perfect and there's not any button scratches, of course, somebody gets out their electron microscope or their, their magnifying glass and they find some little one. But this is, I mean, this is about as nice as you can get. And then, of course, you have the uh, three-ply hard rock maple shell and you have the Curtis McPeak tone ring. And we've had several banjos with the Curtis McPeak tone ring in them. They sound great. And uh, there it is. Uh, and I guess you can read what that says. Handcrafted to exact 
specifications of a design stealth by Scott Vestal. All right. If you have any questions and want to see more pictures, go to banjowarehouse.com. See a description, more pictures. If you have, if you want to talk to somebody, call Andy at 404-372-5482, or you can uh, email him. If you want to uh, see the banjos, if you want to come uh, visit us and see over 70 banjos in stock, give us a call a day in advance, and uh, we can see you seven days a week. And uh, I guess that's about it. So I hope everybody has a great Christmas because we've got some great Christmas items here that can really make somebody happy. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you.